inside the iconic Mercedes-Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the New England Patriots and the New Orleans Saints. So here come the Patriots now on offense. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. shot there that's for sure but it falls incomplete and it's second down and now we take a peek at the Patriot offense to me the identity of the New England Patriots on offense is that they have no identity they don't lean to the run they don't lean to the pass they just game plan each and every week for what they think is going to be most effective and how does it turn out for them one of the most balanced teams in the league and they're usually way up there in the stats And he'll get this one up to the 26. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Now back to throw. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Last year, New Orleans dead last, number 32 in passing defense. Something that was exploited game after game. You know, though, those guys are tired of hearing about it. Now they just want to fix it. And you fix it with players playing better. We know that. But also you fix it with scheme. You look at what you have and say, can we play the style that we played in 2016? And you and I both know the New Orleans defensive staff. They like to be aggressive. They like to get after the quarterback, put their guys in a lot of man coverage. Maybe we'll play a little more zone in 2017, take some of the pressure off of the back end of the defense. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And it's a fumble. And this is picked up by the Saints. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Set of downs. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 10 carries, 57 yards. How about we shine a little spotlight on the offensive line? Those big guys up front are creating nice space, nice gaps for them to run through. I think he's going to go for over 100 yards in this game. Going to give this time to the tailback. Oh, he sheds himself free. And he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the line. 
25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. I'd have to say that was a pretty darn good run right there. They had seven, what, eight in the box, still able to burn them. They got to consider themselves lucky they only give up a first down and not a touchdown. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Now that was a terrific play. We're down here near the goal line, and only one word comes to mind for me, and that's overwhelm, because they absolutely overwhelmed the offensive line. He came free and made the hit in the backfield. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his left. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. And he's able to put it through. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You'd better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. On first down, he'll drop to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Charles, that was a heck of a play. It truly was because when he made that catch, he had to shake through some people, right? So that play, to me, a highlight film, that should be accompanied by bass music, right? <laughs> I mean, boom, 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 and he finds his way to the end zone. Terrific play. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. It's a very short kick taken by an up man. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. And just one tick to go, so this will obviously be the final play of this first quarter. Back to throw now on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. And they've got it here with a first down. At the end of one, 7-6 our score. We'll head back to New Orleans after this. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And he'll give it here to his running back, and he'll get it down here to the 43. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. 
That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. And yeah, not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get him the next time. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Five yards to go for the offense. First down and goal from that five-yard line. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. A reminder coming up at halftime. Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. The business to take care of before that. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs, and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll barrel his way into the end zone for a safe touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Saints now at six to their lead. Well, he decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Mitch Trubisky with one touchdown pass thus far. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And here comes a big tight end as he gets set for this next drive. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They'll look to throw here. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and short. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. Looking to throw. And that is incomplete. Offense just a yard away from the line they need to gain. Third down. They're going to look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. He'll look 
to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he's reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now they try the right side here. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Now the defense is going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games. Maybe we need to up that a little. Back to throw here. They'll roll him out right. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20 at the 15. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Hurry up, here we go. They'll look to throw here on first down. This is caught, and he's brought down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Something about that home opener makes you feel more settled. Yeah, I wish we could quantify it, too, because you're playing the same game. The field's the same, you know, size. We know all of that. But being at home, sometimes when you do things well, you get that extra push from your home fans, and it elevates your game. And in the driver's seat right now, out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So we've got a second and five. They'll look to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front as we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando where we check it. Now you folks don't know what you're missing. You're missing Larry Ridley. Ready to get back, though, to this week two matchup. Let's get to it. 
So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. And that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? If they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, the teeter. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. He'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively, now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker board? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> Second down following the run. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Going to give this time to the tailback. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. They'll set up to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Sometimes we wonder about play calls, but this one made perfect sense to me. He's got the only touchdown that they've scored in this game. Tried to get it to him again on another deep ball. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And not his best effort there as this one's going to be spotted down just outside of the 40-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. His third touchdown of the season, all coming in this game. And the Saints now add six to their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. 
He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. And it's no good. No, oh, he misses the extra point, and our score stays right where it is. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. And that's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Hey, go down, go down. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! on second down, they'll try and run the counter. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. That's an experienced DB picking off a rookie, and you know sometimes those experienced DBs, they love going against the young pups, don't they? And I go back to the offseason, had a quick conversation with him about, hey, when you play younger quarterbacks, what's it like for you? And he says, it's like being a boxer. I give him a lot of different angles, a lot of different looks, and a lot of times I just bait the young guy. And there he baited him right into the interception and taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. I know anytime you watch a team run the ball really well, there's some pinball effect, people bouncing off of each other. There's also some things of beauty in there when you see these nice explosives. Back now here live in New Orleans. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, brings under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where no, we no, sit, no, no. it's check actually it frustration. Check. Not a good play. No, 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 no. Check. Now a handoff here to his running back. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves them with third and just a couple. 
Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. The Saints on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So the Patriots coming out now. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well. And now nothing but green ahead of him. And the way in. Touchdown, New England. A big play there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. He's got it. So they convert the two. That keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. Here's a great example right there. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now a handoff looking right. And some room to work. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So it'll be first down here after the run. Going to give this time to the tailback. And a short gain here down to the 22. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. All right, here we go. Green, 39. A handoff as they run the counter play. Open space inside the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A great effort there. 22 yards. And the Saints add on to their lead. Things are rocking easy here in the fourth quarter. They've got to feel pretty good about this one. Actually, they've got to feel excellent. Tough loss in the opener. No way they wanted to go 0-2. I don't want to read too much into it, but psychologically, is there something much bigger about 0-2 than 0-1? Oh, without a doubt. And here's the biggest one. 
guys like you and me, all the media are going to talk about, well, you know how hard it is to make the playoffs when you start 0-2, yeah. and that starts to work, your, work its way through a team. And now they're working towards 1-1. One and one. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Room here to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. And he'll indeed get him to the line and spike it here to stop the clock. New England on third down. Two for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll drop to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 17. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a quarterback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation, looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is, when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets, but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college,